All right, I'm going to show you how to set up your gradebook now in Schoology. This is really important, and it's probably best to do uh, before you start having students hand in work with Schoology. So right now we're looking at, um, I have a, just a dummy course that I set up to show examples, and you can see that I have um, four different types of assessment coming into my gradebook right now. Final exam, which is at 30% of the weight of the uh, grade. Homework is 10, makes up 10% of the grade. Quizzes are 10% and tests are 50. Um, so I set this up ahead of time. Let me show you how to set this up. So I'm going to go into another one of my courses here. I'll just go into this test section here. And hopefully I haven't already set up the gradebook. Let's find out. So I'm going to go into gradebook and gradebook setup. And, ah, I did. <laughs> so let's go into technology section A and gradebook and gradebook setup. So uh, you can see I haven't set up a gradebook here yet. I haven't set up any categories for my assignments. So I'm going to go ahead and add a category. I'm going to add an assignments category, and I'm going to put calculated by percent. I recommend you do this too. Drop lowest means that it'll drop out the lowest of um, assignment in, in that category. I'm not going to do that though. I'm just going to drop zero of them. I'm going to say create, and now I have an assignments category. I'm just going to add a few more categories, and I'm going to show you how, you how to divide them out. So next I'm going to add um, a Quiz category percent. Uh, again, I'm not going to drop any of them. I'm going to add discussions and discussion debate, and then I'll add a test section again percent. And actually, I might even add a um, observation section. And again, I'll make that percent. So these sorts of categories are things that you'll probably want to discuss within your department. And maybe you already have norms and stuff like that. Um, OK, actually, uh, I should add a summative just as an example. Or maybe I'll just call it exam for this one. So percent. So let's split it up. We're going to weight these categories. Uh, final exams in um, senior courses need to be 30% of the course, so I'm going to go ahead and set that at 30. I'm going to say discussions are 5% of my course. Um, quiz, let's say tests are 10, quizzes are 5%. I'm just going ahead and changing these. You'll notice that on the right-hand side, these percentages are all going a bit wacky. Don't worry about that. They'll all sort themselves out. Let's see, observation, let's say 5 as well. So let's see, what do I have got? I've got 10, 15, 20, 50, 5. So then assignments would be 45. And now I have an even 100%. It all works out here on the right hand side. So that is how I've set up a gradebook for my Technology 7 course. I might change this before class begins, but that gives you an example. So whenever I create assignments or tests or discussions or even hand out a paper quiz, I'm going to track it all through my gradebook. Now before I do anything else, I'm going to remember to push save or it won't remember all this stuff up here. So I'm going to say save. At this point, um, I could set up grading scales. There's a letter graded scale that's already here. I can click on that. Uh, this is just one that they've set up. And I could um, add my own based on um, the levels that we use. So I could say level four plus is, you know, whatever it happens to be. I just don't remember off the top of my head. But you get the idea. And then you'd add another level, level four. Uh, again, I'm just making this up. We actually have um, these defined somewhere. And I know this is wrong. So anyway, you get the idea. I'm not going to save that. I'm just going to close it. Uh, and that sets up different grading scales. So if I want to grade something using ABC or grade something using levels, it allows me to do that. Okay, I'm going to save my changes. I'm going to create an assignment now, and I'm going to add it to my assignment section. So I'm just going to go materials, assignment. And look, there's one already set up for me. So I'm going to click on that one. 
And actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to do it right from scratch because that's going to be the best way to do it. So add assignment. And I'm just waiting a second here. So I'm going to say test assignment. So I'm testing it out. I give it a description here to explain to the children what I need them to do. Uh, I'm, I'm always going to leave everything out at 100% because at a glance it lets me know how well they've done on the assignment or test. Uh, it's also something that uh, Garf Garfield uh, recommended um, during the critical thinking uh, stuff he did. So I'm going to leave that at 100 points, means 100%. Uh, and I'll make a due date here uh, in September. It has to be after the 4th, because the 4th is the first day of school. So I'll make it on the 5th. And category, I'm going to put this under assignments. Now I could add files and stuff like that here. I could even go to grading options and I could use that ABC scale if I wanted to at this point. Now, see this factor thing? Um, if I want to uh, test to count for more than a typical test, so I might, or sorry, this assignment. So this assignment, usually let's say it counts as one, but this one was twice as big as, as a typical one, I would change the factor to two here. Now this is something again that you should discuss in your departments to decide how best to do that. Anyway, I would hit create, and now I've created an assignment, and I've I've um, put it under the correct category for my gradebook. So now when I go into my gradebook, it'll show up here. As it's called test assignment, and it's under the right category. Okay, so you can see James Whitehouse is enrolled in my course, and he'll be working his hardest to make sure